Jennifer and welcome to my Flagstaff home. Well, obviously there are a lot of things about Flagstaff that I love, but one of the things that I really love happens every summer and that is our 4th of July celebration. So you may ask yourself, wow, does Flagstaff have this really amazing fireworks show? And the answer to that is no. In fact, a lot of times we don't even have fireworks because we can have such extreme fire danger at that time of year. And so um, this year we were fortunate not to have that because our monsoon rain season started just a couple days before the 4th of July. And so there actually were fireworks this year, but there are all kinds of things going on all weekend long and it's all kicked off by our 4th of July parade. Now it seems like a Mayberry parade to me. And while Flagstaff is a small-ish town, I mean, it's 60,000 people, so it's not, it's not tiny, but um, it has a real cozy feel. And this 4th of July parade is just the cutest thing ever and I never wanna miss it. Most people in Flagstaff, if you ask them, have actually been in the parade at some point or another. And I have been in the parade, I don't know, four or five times. But the, and there were 115 entries this year, so it was, it was a pretty big parade. But literally over 10,000 people come to the downtown and line the streets, down Humphreys, over Aspen Street, up San Francisco Street for this parade. There are just rows and rows of people along the sidewalks. Children stand along the sides with bags like it's Halloween because people are handing things out. It really, it's a big rolling advertisement. Any um, uh, company, store, upcoming festival, um, they're, they're all advertising what they have going on. We have politicians, um, who will, who will come in town, even like for um, somebody running for governor will come up to Flagstaff for this parade because it's such a huge, huge event. So there's all kinds of entries in the parade and so much fun to watch. So, um, oh, and before I show you the clips from this, the other thing is we just have stuff going on the whole weekend. We have um, art in the park and all different kinds of festivities that are going on. And so in addition to seeing the parade, there's just a lot of things to do. And then hopefully if we've had a little bit of rain before the 4th of July hits, it'll end with um, a fireworks show. So I'm going to um, show you some clips from this year's 4th of July parade. And then after the parade, my my husband was actually in the parade. His company had a, had a float in the parade. And so um, I sat with some friends along the side this year. And then afterwards we went down to Wheeler Park where they had the art in the park um, little show. And it actually wasn't little, it had quite a few booths with different kinds of artwork, um, a band, food, all that kind of stuff. It started to rain toward the end just as we were leaving. And then let me just give you a little tip if you happen to be here for the parade at some point. Don't try to just get in your car and drive away because 10,000 people are all trying to get out of the downtown area at the same time. So it's really just best to go grab a bite to eat at a restaurant, go to the Art in the Park um, festival and, and take a look around and wait till things clear out. We went to the Art in the, Art in the Park show, then we thought, oh, it's probably cleared out enough and it ended up still being pretty busy and so we stopped at a restaurant and um, it had started to rain by that point so I've got a little bit of video from that as well. So anyway, let me take you along and show you our 4th of July celebration in Flagstaff this year. We were sitting on the corner of Aspen and LaRue, and this is the beginning of the parade. You can see the Easy Ups on the side, and the people that I sit with, there were actually four Easy Ups that they had with a whole bunch of family friends. They come down really early and get their spot, and then we go have breakfast, and, um, and then wait for the parade to start. We're also right near where the announcers are who announce every 
um, entry that comes through. I love that, well, we just missed it, but I love in the background here that the Weatherford Hotel is right there, so it's kind of neat to have that as a backdrop. This is the um, mayor of Flagstaff, who is in the parade. Somebody just said, hey, Jerry, you know, everybody, the guy who said that probably knows him. So there are a lot of military entries as well. There's one where the where guys from uh, like World War II were riding along, and so there's a lot of military entries as well. Smokey the Bear. <laughs> People thanking the Forest Service and the first responders. Every parade has to have a high school band. <laughs> this is Flagstaff High School. And actually, it's not the current students at Flagstaff High School. This is an alumni band. Somebody in the background just said CHS because their rival is Coconino High School. This, this just cracks me up. This is APS, Arizona Public Service. It's a company that provides um, power to people's homes and they have an entry in the parade. I'm not exactly sure what this next one is with a bunch of clowns. Now you'll notice that things at, at some points kind of slow down and it's because the the entries ahead of them are stopped at where they're being announced and some of them are putting on little shows. Oh, this is APS. Yeah, they have clowns. <laughs> I'm not sure why. But you can see, look at how many people are on the sidewalks. That's, that's up and down all the streets. This is um, a rescue organization called Second Chance. They're a no-kill shelter. So they had dogs in the parade and their little vehicle. This was, this is kind of a neat entry. This was from the um, Museum of Northern Arizona. So you can see we've got some Native American dancers here. Gosh, they had to do this all the way through the whole parade. Okay, this is, uh, what is this called? Alpine Peddler? It's kind of a party bar sort of thing. It, you can rent this thing and then pedal your way through Flagstaff. There's a driver at the front and they go from bar to bar. I love this one because you've got the horses pulling this stagecoach and they have these two dogs that are catching a ride on the front. You can just see that there's, um, it's a reflection of the pioneer history and rich Native American history in this town. 
This is Northern Arizona University. They have some of their band members. The sign you're going to see on the side of this truck says True Blue NAU. Um, and that's kind of a thing, a uh, motto that they have. They try to get the whole city to wear blue on Fridays in support of the um, athletics teams. And of course, the lumberjack is the mascot for Northern Arizona University. And then they've got, that's an NAU shuttle. So for people going to class from one end of the campus to the other. This one cracks me up. We have a bus system in town called the Mountain Link and, um, or Mountain Lift, and they just put a couple of buses in the parade, which just, it just gives it a Mayberry feel. Let's just decorate a bus and put it in the parade. This, this one's kind of cute too. This is Terry Markson is a Chevrolet company and, um, and the people who are handing out things are handing out little apple pies. So, you know, apple pie and Chevrolet. Guess enough more American than that. There were a bunch of classic cars. Uh, there's also a roller derby here in town, and so these are the girls from the Flagstaff roller derby team. One of my husband's co-workers, who is a physician's assistant, is in the roller derby, and she's kind of lagging behind here, handing stuff out, but... Several entries were political, politically themed. I don't know what exactly this was, but they had a llama. This is a, a club, it's Flagstaff Table Tennis, so these guys just played played uh, ping pong the whole time, so obviously balls were flying everywhere. And this is a 4-H group. These girls are carrying signs that say, buy my pig, because they're having an auction in August. This is a, a neat group. I think they're called Samba Leak. Um, I think it's spelled S A M B A L I Q U E, and it's just amazing uh, musical group. Can't even imagine walking through this whole parade carrying those drums. A lot of people standing to their feet and saying thank you. This is the Flagstaff Public Library, and and it's like they had the dancing librarians or something. They were they were trying to uh, encourage people to read. They have different signs on their book carts.
And this is CrossFit. So they they did exercises the whole way through the parade. You can see the one girl who's doing the sit-ups on the truck and then people I don't know that they could really be carrying those heavy things the whole time. And then this girl's just flipping a huge tire the whole time. And this is the Fort Tuthill Military Museum. Fort Tuthill is a park. It's not far from, um, well, it's kind of on the south part of Flagstaff, and uh, it's a fairgrounds and everything. They have a military museum. I think this was the World War II veteran. entry from the Indian Bible College that is in town. They have the truck that's coming up next with some people on it. And these were, uh, I think this was also kind of a political campaign too for people running for office and as part of the Navajo Nation. That next one is just a thrift store in town. And then this was the end of the parade with the first responders. I backed underneath the Easy Up at that point because they had hoses and they were shooting water everywhere. I didn't want to ruin my camera. Okay, so now afterwards um, we went over to Art in the Park, which is at Wheeler Park, and there are lots of booths. This is just one little area. Lots of people. There was wall art, and pottery, and jewelry, and then other stuff that wasn't really art, like people selling hot sauce or spices and things like that. Candles. You can see it was starting to get a little overcast at this point. It started sprinkling. Some jewelry. Wall art. Photographer. A lot of really cool things here. We try to hit that show every year. There are several different shows every summer in the park where there's a, a bunch of art, but Fourth of July is always the biggest one. Sorry about that. Um, of course, I had to show that there's typical food, kettle corn and all that lovely, healthy food that you see at fairs, events, and then there was a, a band playing. Sorry, this part's kind of jiggly with my camera. And then as we were getting ready to leave, it was starting to rain as we were heading toward our car, thinking that the area would be cleared out enough that we could drive home. And so there's a picture of us. <laughs> we took a picture of us. We, thankfully, we had an umbrella. And then we ended up stopping when we realized it was just too busy. And this was a cleared out point, but we stopped at a place called Mama Burger to eat. And it was totally packed because other people had the same idea as us. So I just decided to get some pictures or, you know, some footage of that. This is one area where a lot of people thought that they could get out of the of the downtown area quickly. Um, you can see in this next shot that they're kind of coming out of those streets in that neighborhood thinking it was a shortcut. There's those beautiful peaks in the background. So it was a really nice way to end the day. So doesn't that look like a lot of fun? Um, my so doesn't that look like a lot of fun? Um, my husband and I had a really good time on 4th of July this year. I just love that the parade has just, you know, just average people 
in a parade. Um, in, in some cases, and I didn't even show video of these, but in some cases, you just see a group of people walking with a sign. <laughs> They're from a school or some kind of organization. Um, of, of course, others make a bigger production of their entries into the parade. But it's really, um, it's just great fun. And so I hope that you have a really fun parade in your area. And if you happen to be in the Flagstaff area around 4th of July, you can't miss it. Anyway, thanks for joining me and we'll see you again.